Thank you, Jim. This is new this morning. As you know, healthcare workers have become heroes in the last six months, and a school in Santee is now training the next group to hit the front lines. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aaron shows us how the Healthcare Occupation Center has been able to improve student hands on education during this pandemic. My name is Nina. I'm one of, one of your nurses today. Nina Wynn yeah. and Deanne Murray's patient Hi. Good morning. is kind of creepy. Yeah. It blinks. It talks. It's Susan Lovely. It has vitals. It takes fluid. It behaves exactly like a real person. It also gives them the hands-on training that nursing students can't get during a pandemic since they can't interact with real patients. And nursing school is not intended to be online, so that's what a lot of us have been really struggling with. Um, but we're doing it. And we'll get through this. Mannequins like this are one of several ways the Grossmont Health Occupation Center upgraded to make sure students can still learn and enter the medical field. Three, two, one. The school also got a brand new ambulance simulator for their EMT program and two new buildings, all paid for by bond money and a grant from the Grossmont Healthcare District. Okay, then, These students uh, can't go do clinicals in a hospital like they used to be able to. So it's even more important that we've got these kind of ab um, abilities and facilities for students to train. Jobs like these are in demand with need expected to increase 23 percent by 2026. San Diego County gave the school special approval to resume modified in-person learning over the summer even while other schools remained closed. In June, 288 students completed the spring semester. This fall, a record 445 students enrolled, many unemployed because of the pandemic and finding a future in health care. That's their exact sentiments is that they are uh, wanting to pursue this now that they see the need and they're finding a calling in health care uh, now that, that this has become health care has become so front and center with the pandemic. For Wynn, Murray and other students, it's the training they need to help heal the world one patient at a time. Because our community definitely needs us right now. I mean, the health care profession definitely is in need. Every day somebody is going to need help with something and uh, hopefully I'll be the next one to help the next person. Jared Aarons, ABC 10 News. The Health Occupation Center offers a dozen different programs, most of which can be completed under one semester. If you're interested in applying, we have more information for you at 10news.com. Jim, I heard you call those mannequins a little creepy. Yeah, well, you know, looking at it, it's interesting how far they've come, isn't it? I mean, the mannequin saying, hi, good morning, and then with the eye movement and all that, wow. Mm -hmm. Pretty realistic. <laughs> all right, let's uh, get to Megan Perry. And uh, Megan, here we are another step closer with voice automation and the blinking mannequins and whatnot to our jobs being replaced. <laughs> I know we'll just be we'll just be gone. I mean, there's mannequins at Petco Park right now written on the Padres instead of us. So <laughs> we don't yeah, even get, get to be fans yeah, anymore. Right. 